taking out the CF Moto 800 NK. First demo ride of the day. The sign said no GoPros, but so let's see how this thing feels. All right, and we are off on the CF Moto 800 NK. I'm falling behind two Papios. <laughs> There's my bike. It feels like a little lugging at this slow speed. I think it just wants to go. <laughs> but this has gotten a lot of attention. 800 right now is the highest displacement that CF Moto has in the US right now. I think they have a is it a 1200 or 1250 in other countries? Demo rides here at Moto America. Nice. It's a good TFT dash. So while we're trying to get out to the road here, a few little stats on the screen about this engine, 800. So you can see the horsepower, torque numbers, if that really matters. The numbers are kind of a baseline reference. It's always good to see the actual feel of the bike. Look at the Papios go! <laughs> so fourth gear, 47 miles per hour, that kind of smoothed it out. I was in third and it was a little buzzy. And then now this is pretty smooth. Button placement is a little weird. It's got this whole menu thing over here, which I won't have time to get into. I've got just a demo ride. Turns in nicely. This is one of those bikes where I feel like I'm sitting on top of it rather than in it. Which is not what I'm used to with my bike. and uh, So I have to get used to the turns a little bit that like tipping it over it's like just me out there on top of it rather than me and the bike together if that makes any sense if it doesn't then just uh, whatever <laughs> but no CF mode has really come onto the scene the last couple years and this is the, the second CF moto I've ridden on I did get to ride the 450 SS uh, that belongs to chase on two wheels so check out that video also, that bike is going to be one of the giveaway bikes for the next, uh, this current season of WBRG. So if you want to check that out, link in the description as well. This is a very comfortable seating position. I'm ever so slightly leaned forward, but it's not bad at all. In fact, pushing against this wind, that kind of balances out. The wind resistance has kind of helped hold me up, so there's not really any pressure on my wrists. The handlebars are pretty flat out, not, not curved in, which can cause some discomfort sometimes if you're a taller rider. For reference, I am six foot two. And it's pretty comfortable. I would not want my feet to be tucked up any higher, but where it is right now, very comfortable. Oh, we are out in the country because that smells great. <laughs> oh, anyway, <laughs> where was I? I think the best way I can describe this engine is it's a little, it's a little grunty. Like it's not super smooth, and, but maybe that's okay. But it gives it a little bit of a characteristic, I guess. But it's not like bad, vibey in any way. So it's got different electronics, different modes. Street mode. Okay, that's sport mode that I was in. Let me put it in. Let me put it in street mode. See if that smooths things out a little bit. That's the bad thing about some of these demo rides when you just come and see what's available. Okay, the throttle response is smoother now, which is what I like, generally speaking. 
I do like the performance when you want to get a little little spicy but generally riding I like things to be a little bit smoother so finding that was good with the ride modes you've got the throttle by wire which means there's also cruise control on here the, I won't have time to do that but y'all know how cruise control works let's get it into top gear here so in sixth gear, it's the engine's very smooth. As a naked bike, I don't know that I would want to be taking this on super long trips, but with how the engine is, you can certainly take it on on some good little jaunts if you don't mind the wind. It is pretty cool how the TFT changes when you do different ride modes. Uh, currently in street mode, like front and center is your speed. And in sport mode, the tachometer goes is bigger and goes around around your speed so I guess you can see your revs easier things like that when you're wanting to try to squeeze out peak power <laughs> I love the tuck on the Papio <laughs> I mean you have to but I mean, go look at those Papios they're they're hanging in there man 125 tell you what I do like about the Papios is like that uh, undertail exhaust nice and clean it's pretty cool they also have this 800 engine in the Ibex 800 or the 800 MT as it's known internationally. So I'm going to give this some good marks on the comfort. Sometimes on these naked bikes, these middleweight naked bikes, I feel a little cramped just because of my size. Um, I, I don't feel it as much in this one, so I think this is a good size. I think this would be a great bike for someone who is doing things around town, uh, staying pretty local, not going on long trips, but you can stretch out some distance uh, for some longer ride days because it has the power to do that with cruise control. Come on, Papio! <laughs> you can do it! So yeah, a great outing by the 800 MK. It does everything as advertised. Like, I can't find anything specifically wrong with it to nitpick at. Um, I mean, and then there's, on the other side, there's nothing that I'm like, wow, this is the best middleweight bike ever. I mean, it's good. It's a good, solid bike. If I compared it to some of the other middleweights from the others that I've ridden, uh, better than a Z650, probably could equate it to an MT-07. You know, I think it might be kind of a toss-up between those two. But I don't, I think we're in an age where like, there's just not a lot of bad bikes out there. It's just kind of coming down to personal preference. So yeah, I don't think you're gonna go wrong with an 800 MK. CF motor has really been coming on strong and it seems like they're, you know, keeping up with it. with how good the Papios were keeping up with everything, you know, then I was afraid, I mean, they're going to hold me back or, yeah. so, you know. Well, and, and, and I worry about that a little bit. We were able to stay with traffic, so. Yeah, no, so, yeah. I was kind of, so I was kind of more impressed with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was great. That was Thank you. Yeah. Good, good. I got a good ride. Yeah. yeah.